Zombies is hard. I'll be the first to admit that, but with a good strategy and a good zombies partner, anything is possible, and today I have what I think is probably the best strategy on the hardest map on Black Ops 3, Shangri-La. So as you can see, we are sitting down here. This is right across the bridge. We have the door that is directly behind me closed, as in no zombies are coming from behind. The only way that they can get to us is from our right side, one window on our left, and then straight across the bridge. I'll tell you right now, most of the zombies come from straight across the bridge. Now, our gobble gums are pretty important in this game. Um, I'll show you an image of all the gobble gums that we used, and, and just know that the gobble gums on the screen is what Tyler and I used both. We had the same gobble gum. So, you know, power vacuum is really good. I, I made a video about how overpowered it was and that you should use it. And I'm here to say, if, if you're struggling to get high rounds on any map, just use power vacuum. Um, maybe you're, you're, you're trying out a new spot and you wanna see how good it is, but you don't think it's that good. Power Vacuum will carry you through it. Now, good thing to know, Power Vacuum is not an end-all be-all at this spot. We used it primarily for time. We wanted to get this game as fast as possible. We wanted to see this map at its peak performance, dropping drops everywhere. And it worked out pretty well in our favor. Now, we died on round 63. We died because of lack of ammo. However, we had the tools to get ammo. In fact, Tyler was on a um, alchemical and he was like, okay, I'm gonna shoot the zombies, you walk over them, but whenever I walked over them, I got the point. So he didn't get the ammo, he lost all of his ammo, and then we died, you know? This is not the spot you wanna be with low ammo. There's nowhere to run, you know, you could open up the door, but like I've always said, it's better to just end the game than, than ruin your spot, because if we would open up that door, the rest of the map is open, we don't have another place to camp, to train, this map's pretty hard. Uh, I think there's a really good solo strategy out right now, but you know, if you wanna see that video, please let me know. But for a co-op and more, this is a great spot. And I think this is one of those spots that with more people makes it a little bit better. You know, you're gonna have more zombies. It's gonna take more time, but it's a really fun spot to be in. There's a lot of kills to be gained and mostly across the board, if you're using power vacuum and you get all of those insta kills and death machines, people usually end up with the same amount of kills. A lot of people like that, you know, usually in a strategy, one person's running point or with the Wonder Wath, and they end up getting the majority amount of kills while the other person's there just, you know, as the second player to revive, to, to get stuff done. But like I say in all strategies, just because you don't have all the kills doesn't mean you are a big part in or not a big part in getting the high round. It takes a party. If you don't think that, just play solo. Trust me, guys, it's easier that way, less zombies. So... This is a pretty good strategy. Um, I put my name to it. I say that almost anyone can stay here, especially with Power Vacuum, and go. You know, we did this without Power Vacuum, and I think we got to almost 50, and then we were like, okay, if we do it again, we're definitely going to use Power Vacuum and milk this spot for all it's worth. Other good gobble gums to consider, if you didn't already see from the image, Death Machine, those things are a beast. Definitely on this bridge, you can shoot all the way across to the other spawn and the mud room, really kill them before they come out. And at the end of the day, a strategy is just a pattern. You want to get the zombies out of the wall to you and dead as fast as possible. And this is one of the better strategies on the map. Now, definitely, we're not done looking on this map. There's always new strategies to be made. Maybe a faster spot, faster spawning. You know, there's a whole works, but here's the map. I know some people were asking me about this map on my last video. I used some of the gameplay from this video, so I'm doing it. Here's here's your strategy, guys. If you want to get to a high round on Shangri-La, please follow the steps we have listed right here. Other recommendations, do not use Perkaholic on this map. As you can see, I use Soda Fountain. If you do not have a Soda Fountain, use, use Perkaholic, but... I wouldn't keep going back that going back to that perk uh, or that gumball as your go-to to get all your perks. You know, once you die the first time after you've had a perkaholic, I just recommend getting your perks back normally. Uh, like soda found is so good for this. You know, you, you buy a perk, you get a perk, you buy a perk, you get a perk, and eventually you end up with all of them. So that's how Tyler and I both have all the perks in this map. Other little tips: um, do not move the mystery box that will give you fire cells with this uh, 
gobble gum as you can see power vacuum is working and alive in this gameplay and whenever you use the box and you make the box move you get fire cells that's less chance to get a death machine insta kill nuke max ammo so one last thing you know carpenters you can't really not deal with there's more than four windows i think there's like five six seven something something along those lines uh, there's a lot of windows and and this strategy but it is it is super fast i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think down below tell me what map i should make a strategy video for next i hope you guys enjoyed it peace